My name is Matthew Glazier and this video is brought to you by whataka.com, the leading website for all football accumulator tips and advice. We are going great guns at the moment. We had loads of winners towards the back end of February. We we're attacking March with lots of vigour and hoping to land lots of winners, lots of profit for our readers, subscribers and viewers such as you. So um, this video is all about Premier League tips and predictions for game week 28. Uh, loads to look forward to, so let's crack on and start with Leicester against Leeds United. Now Leeds sacked Marcelo Bielsa after last weekend's 4-0 defeat against Tottenham. They've now got Jesse Marsh in charge. Jesse who, the Leeds fans might be asking. He's been in charge of Red Bull Salzburg, more recently Leipzig. Not particularly convincing track record, it must be said, even though Leeds have been tracking him for a while. He's quite an attack-minded manager based on previous evidence and we think attack might be the best form of defence for Leeds at the King Power. Leicester themselves are not a great team to keep clean sheets even though they managed to do so at Turf Moor. We're going to go for BTTS, yes. We think Leicester might win this game because Leeds' defence needs properly sorting out and we're not sure Marsh is either the man nor has the time to, to work on this. So we'd go for something like a Leicester 2-1 or 3-1 victory. Moving on to Aston Villa versus Southampton. We've got a sneaky feeling Southampton can win this football match. They're slightly better than Aston Villa and that's testified by the league table which has the Saints in a loftier position. Ralph Hasentutel continues to do some sterling work at St Mary's. Don't forget they were being touted by, for relegation by many at the beginning of the season. Steven Gerrard's side arrested their slump by winning 2-0 at Brighton last weekend. Ollie Watkins is, was off the mark. Um, they are obviously a tough nut to crack at Villa Park but they did lose at home to Watford the other week. We're going to give a Southampton zero on the Asian handicap but I won't put you off Southampton just as a, on the full-time result market, and we say Southampton to win this game 2-1. Burnley go up against Chelsea at Turf Moor. Burnley were dealt a setback when losing 2-0 at home to Leicester City. They now go up against the Chelsea side, licking their wounds after being knocked out of the EFL Cup final. They did have a midweek FA Cup engagement against Luton Town. We still think Chelsea will have the legs to win this match. Chelsea and both teams to score no. Um, whoever Thomas Tuchel plays at the back, whether it's Thiago Silva, Antonio Rudiger, whether Rhys James comes back in, Cesar Pilaqueta, we even Chalabar, we still think they can shut out a Burnley side who didn't really trouble Leicester on Tuesday. That's a worrying sign considering how poor Leicester's defence has been this season. Um, Chelsea to win, maybe 2-0 in that game. Newcastle go up against Brighton. Um, really strange how um, the tables have turned here. A few weeks ago, you would have had uh, Brighton as, as, as a decent bet, perhaps, to win at St James's Park. But um, Newcastle have won four and drawn one of their past five encounters. They won at Brentford last weekend, albeit against 10 men for the most part. But Eddie Howe's side are just looking up now. Um, it's hard to consider them as relegation candidates anymore. We think they could continue their sterling work against the Brighton side, who whose wheels have well and truly fallen off in recent weeks. I mean, granted, most of their wins came in the early part of the season, but um, they're in a real slump, struggling to score goals, conceding plenty. Uh, the Seagulls are really looking sort of down and out at this point in time. So, yeah, Newcastle win here. I think maybe something like 2-0 um, could be fairly comfortable for Eddie Howe's side, and there's certainly value at the prices. Norwich go up against Brentford, another relegation sort of battle here. Well, this is more of a relegation battle, and we're going to go for Norwich to win this game. Um, they're not probably as bad as some people like to make out. Okay, okay, they look almost doomed as far as relegation is concerned, but this would be a real shot in the arm if they were able to beat the Bees, and the Bees are on their knees because they have only got one point from the last nine encounters. And while Christian Eriksen might give them a little bit of a boost in creativity, it doesn't mean that he's going to wave a magic wand, certainly not in this game where Dean Smith's Norwich will, um, will, will, will feel as though they can, can get the better of a Brentford side, who they've already beaten this season. So this, they're looking to do a double. We think Norwich will win the game. We'll go for something like... We'll go for a 2-1 win to Norwich there. Wolves go up against Crystal Palace, probably the hardest match to predict on the Premier League coupon. Um, yeah, Wolves are eighth in the table, but they're not being particularly convincing at home. They've only had five wins in their 12 games at Molyneux, so they're hard to, 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 to bank on, really. Uh, Palace have only won two, won two away from home. One of them was, was, was at Manchester City, which makes it even more of a conundrum. Um, we'll just revert to type for this, for this uh, game and go for under two and a half goals. There's only been um, 20 goals scored in 12 Wolves home games this season. Um, Palace are something of a draw specialist in the division, so we'll we'll uh, we'll, we'll take a punt on that. One one would be uh, a fairly uh, predictable scoreline here. 
Liverpool clashed with West Ham and 1-1 wouldn't be a predictable scoreline at Anfield. Liverpool fresh from winning the EFL Cup on that crazy penalty shootout situation where they won 11-10. Um, they'll go up against David Moyes' team and they did lose the reverse fixture 3-2 if you remember um, where Alisson had a bit of a howler at the beginning of the game and West Ham really made their physical and aerial presence felt. However, Liverpool are strong favourites to win this game. They're chasing down the title. We do think they'll continue their, their winning run against West Ham, but we go for Liverpool and both teams to score. Yes, um, West Ham have nearly always certainly found the net this season and um, we're not expecting that to be any different against the Liverpool side who will simply be content to outscore their opponents. We'll go for a 3-1 victory in Liverpool's favour here. Moving to Sunday's action, Watford go up against an Arsenal side who've gone odds on now to land a top four spot in the Premier League. We're going to go for Arsenal to win this game and both teams to score no. Watford are really short of goals um, under Roy Hodgson simply because he's adopted a more pragmatic style of football which did help them win at Aston Villa but um, they, they, they might struggle to, to, to sort of keep a lively Arsenal team at bay in this game as well. Arsenal have become something of a specialist at, at sort of edging victories in, in games such as this one. Um, we'll leave it to you whether you go for the 1-0 or the 2-0 victory. You could combine both for a tasty return. Manchester City play Manchester United in the um, the blue ribbon match of the Premier League coupon this weekend. We're going to go for Manchester United plus one on the Asian handicap. You might think that sounds a bit of a crazy prediction to bet against Manchester City, but Manchester United have won the last two derbies at the Etihad Stadium in the Premier League. Uh, Ralph Rangnick's side are really weird insofar as that you wouldn't be convinced that they'd beat Norwich at home, but then they can serve it up against some of the, the better teams. They went to Atletico Madrid recently in the Champions League and weathered a storm before drawing that game one all. Something similar could happen here. They do have star talent on display despite a complete lack of cohesion. Um, City are not been too convincing recently. They obviously, they got that 1-0 win at Everton, which was lucky because the referee should have given a penalty to Everton in that game. They previously lost 3-2 at home to Tottenham. So there's a reasonable um, degree of, um, of uncertainty about Manchester City at this moment in time. They'll probably still go on to win the title, but we think Man United plus one could be worth a gamble here. Um, finally, the Monday night game involves Tottenham Hotspur against Everton. Um, you can't really trust Tottenham Hotspur at odds on. Um, they were beating it by Middlesbrough on Tuesday night in extra time in the FA Cup. They, they're they just hard to trust really, aren't they? They, they, they lost at home to, to Southampton and Wolves recently. Uh, Everton are no great shakes on the road. In fact, they've looked pretty awful away to Newcastle and even worse at Southampton. But um, Frank Lampard will regard a draw as a very positive outcome in this game given the precariousness of the situation um, Everton find themselves in. We think that they're probably... Uh, capable of managing to, to so far find the net in this game and adopt an attacking approach. They did really well against City in terms of like keeping their shape and holding um, Manchester City at bay. So they'll feel as though they can take that blueprint into this game, keep Kane and Son at bay, and potentially we're looking at a 1-1 draw in this game. Those are all the predictions for Game Week 28 in the Premier League. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please give it a like if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe to this channel. Please also sign up to our free email service and um, watch out for more brilliant content coming this week, including the Saturday shortlist where uh, myself and Benjamin Bloom will be going through uh, the shortlist and hoping to pick out some winning picks for this weekend's accumulators. Thanks again for watching. Please remember to gamble responsibly and I'll see you real soon. Cheers.